Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Amira Mazzy Moyo, and I just want to share just kind of my musings today. I'm sitting outside and I was listening to um, a workshop on just kind of opening up or changing your vibration when it comes to um, being able to help others and being a healer and the things that you receive and just things like that. But one thing that I want to share with you all is um, comes from a question that I got in a Facebook group. If you're watching this and you come from Facebook group, what's up girl i've been linking with so many cool sisters through facebook groups lately so i've been really excited about that but um um i was talking to a lady and she was talking about how she was finding it hard to start and how she had lost a lot of weight in the past how she had um really been strict in the past however you hear a doggy however she was finding it hard to start again and um, the question kind of stems from that. You know, a lot of people ask, how is it that I start my fitness journey? Like, you know, even if you've never lost weight before, if you've done it in the past and you have this idea of how it was very hard or it took a long time, those things like really keep us from starting. And I had to realize like it is a very, very common um, question. So... Here's my answer in a nutshell. A lot of times, what keeps us from starting is our fear of something being too much of a challenge. Um, as humans, our brain, our mind tries to keep us from something that would be too much of a challenge because it's trying to help us to survive. <laughs> okay, so that's a natural, innate, primitive thought. That would be too much. That would be too hard. I need to stop that process from happening. So we literally hold ourselves back because we think that the process will be too much of a journey. Um, I know women and men who you know, are like, well, if I were to lose weight, I would have to change everything that I do and I would have to be uncomfortable and I love food too much and I don't like to run and my knees hurt so I can't do this. And, you know, we have so many self-limiting beliefs when it comes to our bodies and what we're capable of and we literally let them hold us back like it's not like they they hold us back we let them hold us back you know what I mean and um one thing that I think helps is to start something so even if you're like I don't know where to start I don't know if I'm gonna mess something up I don't want to do it wrong I don't want to be laughed at I don't want to have to um be uncomfortable in social situations just start something so whether it's just you stop drinking alcohol when you go out on the weekends start there if it's just you stop eating a sandwich every day for lunch start there you know eat a salad and a, um, a protein or something instead you know um there are many small things that we can do. And there are some people who are just go-getters. They, you know, once they get it in their mind, they're, they're doing everything. They're cold turkey. But there are some people who need to start somewhere. And they need it to be something that's attainable that their fear can't stop or hold them back from. So my suggestion would be start with a small thing, whether it's just walking uh, every day or parking farther away from your job. But don't don't let that be it. And I say that because I've also seen people stuck in the interim of, I started there, you know, I stopped uh, drinking when I went out, but I would get fries instead. And so my weight just kept going up. Don't do that. You know, don't, mm -mm, don't stop there. Park far away from your job. Uh, stop eating, stop drinking on the weekend. Stop eating sandwiches at work. Add another thing every week. So whether it's just wake up a little bit earlier so that you have time to go for a walk, wake up a little bit earlier so you have time for a 15 minute workout, do something small and add another thing every single week so that's my suggestion y'all i will be coming on here on my channel um probably tomorrow because i have another quick video just a little quick tips that i want to share with you um uh, with three must-have fitness items that you can get on amazon and they're under ten dollars so i really want to start to eliminate some of the self-limiting beliefs some of the excuses that we have around fitness and how it's so expensive and how you have to have all these supplements and how you have to do all these complicated things. You know, oh no, baby, that's a bee. My baby's not scared. Oh, come here, mama. Come here. Oh, I thought that was a hive. I thought she was reaching for a beehive. Come here, baby. Okay. <laughs> so um, I really want to focus on the series on my channel of just eliminating the excuses that we have when it comes to our fitness journey. So 
this is the first video. The second one is coming. And if you have any suggestions, if you have any self-limiting beliefs that you want to share, or if you know of any, any common questions, anything like that, please comment them down below. And I will be definitely making a video debunking every myth that we have about why we cannot start, why it's too hard to start, why it's too expensive to start. So I'm going to give y'all uh, how to start your fitness journey with under $20. Like I'm going to start uh, how to get healthy groceries for this amount of money on a budget. All of those things, I'm going to be debunking them, okay? So if you have any ideas or questions, let me know. But while you're watching, go ahead and subscribe to this video or go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I post videos regularly. Um, I usually try to put them out Monday and Friday. And I post in between if I have a good idea. Um, other than that, I'll see you on my next video. Peace.